commandment is for life. It ain't, it ain't to bound you. It ain't to put you in bondage. It's to keep you alive. That's what he's telling you. The commandments were ordained to life. I found to be unto death. That means I died to myself. For sin, taking occasion of sin, it's, it's saying sin is being stupid. On occasion, I think about these things. I, I think about these things every now and then. This sin has an occasion every now and then to come back and check you where you at. Will she fall for this same package with a different ribbon on it? See, every, on occasion, I think about something I did in the old, in the old days. And, and, and immediately have to rebuke it. Because the more you think about it, the more you want to think about it, then it, then it makes you know you dialing an old number. That you told, your, 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 you told yourself you deleted. I thought I was over that. I'm in the front pew, thought I was over that. But I saw somebody like him or I was turning and surfing the channel and then our, our song came on. And you reminisce before you know it, the thing got you all the way back. See, that's an occasion. See, occasionally, see where you at. Check you to see if you still believe it in Jesus Christ. He says, take an occasion by the commandment to see me. See, sin deceived me. And, and by it, me. See, I fell back in that same trap. I didn't even see it coming. It's just occasionally just a little thinking. Before I knew it, I was deceived and I was dead again. Back to where I started from. It's something about repenting, y'all. Wherefore the law is holy and the commandments holy and just and good. Because it ain't nothing but mercy and grace that I'm still standing before you. Because I keep seeing myself making that same mistake over and over again. I'm, there is no scale in heaven that says your sin is higher than my sin, so you should go to hell for me. It just says there is a sin that is not unto death. The Bible don't tell you what it is. I can give you my opinion, or it might be in there and I have not yet read it. A pastor might have to come back and correct me later. But I haven't seen it yet. So therefore, I'm trying to stay away from them all. I'm just, <laughs> by association. Don't do it on them. Try to stay as clean as you can, and you won't have that problem. That's all I'm saying. He said in verse 9, If we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sin and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Confess it. First of all, know who to confess to. Because sometimes you saying you just talking, so people think you're talking, so that talk can get back to you. Confession should keep your business out of people's mouths in the church. That's what Jesus for. Who he going to tell? The only way you, if you correcting that wrong, it says, he'll tell you. He'll send one or two people to tell you, and then he exposes you. But if you confessing it and you're trying to get it right, then there's no need to expose you because you're trying to get it right. It's when you keep doing it with no repentance, it's when he keeps, he brings another person that, well, you know, the Lord spoke to me. That's when you get the, the, the oh, true prophet. A true prophet ain't always tell you something good. True prophet's going to tell you where you're messing up in the Lord and how to get back on track. But Jesus, you confessing your sins to Jesus, straight on point, it says he's just and faithful to forgive you of those. So I don't worry about.
about the middle man. I go straight to Jesus. Because I know his word that he's just and he's faithful. And he's going to forgive me of my sin. Why? Repentance. Why would he have John the Baptist preaching all that long on repentance if when I need it, it don't count? It's simple. Repentance counts. He said David was after his own heart. David was the biggest whole monger this west side of Missouri. But he repented. He was a man after all his God's own heart because God wants repentance. It wasn't the sin, it was the repentance. He understood when he did wrong, who to go to. You have to understand when you're doing wrong, who to go to. Let me finish this on up. If you say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar. And his word is not in us. Verse 6 says, if you don't walk with him, you lie. If you say you, you walk with him and you in darkness, then you lie. It says if you say you don't have, if, if you don't have, if you haven't sinned, then you lie. But it says, if you say you ain't never sinned, you ain't sinning now, then you make Jesus a liar. Now you now you calling him a liar. Because sin don't exist. Everybody right. So either you saying either you lying or Jesus lying. That's what you're saying. Who who, who lying? Jesus or you? He says, First Peter, turn to turn to First Peter. Let's go over, friend. First Peter, second chapter, verse twenty-four. First Peter, second chapter, verse twenty-four, and it reads, "Who his own self bear our sins." his own body, on the tree, that we, being dead in sin, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes we were healed. He bare our sin on his own body. Then went to the tree and died for him. But we call him a lie, because we ain't sin. Turn to Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians, the fifth chapter, verse twenty-one, and it reads, "For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made righteous of God in him." He didn't even know what sin was. But after he bore it on his body, we made him sin. But yet and still we said there is no sin. So we still call him a lie. And you say you don't never do wrong. You don't never stray. You don't need to get saved because you ain't sin. But he bore our sin. And was made sin, and he didn't know what sin was. Let me go to this last chapter in Hebrews. I, I just don't. I, I I I fail to realize in our finite mind why we why we can't seem to get this. Chapter six, Romans chapter six. Starts off with six. And it reads, What shall we say then? <laughs> what you gonna say? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? You keep sinning because you know God gonna forgive you.